What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today I have a very interesting match against Vec from the channel Vec and Let's Play. Uh, if you have not checked out his battle videos before, please do so. He just posts such interesting content, especially from previous generations, particularly second gen. And uh, he obviously has a lot of videos up from uh, Pokemon Stadium and Coliseum as well. So please, please go check him out and give him a subscribe. He has some good battle videos. In this particular battle video, I was testing out a new team. I was trying out double fairy type ideas. This actually has three fairies on this team if you include the Mega Gardevoir that I brought. Um, and he was trying out having no items on any of his Pokemon. So that means I don't have to worry about Choice Scarf Terrakian. I don't have to worry about Mega Slowbro. I don't have to worry about uh, the unburdened Slurpuff setting up on me. It was just really, really interesting because although he had no items, he played really well and that made the battle more difficult and much more interesting, I must say. Uh, so seeing the team that he had, I figured Clefki was a good lead I could set up in there. My spikes, Orcus, and the screams up, but he leads x -Cloud. We're expecting that fire move coming, whether it be Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Didn't want to stay in, I have Assault Vest or Gouji, just for these situations. And even the Ice Beam is not going to do very much. Uh, he's probably running a timid nature with how much that did. Because even though it's super effective, it didn't do that much. Now, I was expecting him to go out into Cofagrigus, but I wanted to make sure he was. I didn't want to go for a Draco Meteor and then KO the x bot allowing Cofagrigus to switch in for free. So since I um, went for a Sludge Bomb again, I did enough damage to ensure that the adaptability boosted uh, Draco Meteor would KO the Cofagrigus, and now I'm only at minus two, or after the ad adaptability boost, I guess it's more like a minus one. But I don't want to stand against Slowbro, possible Psychic Attack is active of course and he kind of alarmed me when he went for calm mine um i went out into klefki just to get hit by the psychic attack but since he's calm minding i have to go for light screen otherwise he could sweep my team um it's very likely that he has max hp and max defense so it'd be very difficult to damage him now the only other pokemon i have on my team that can really calm mine up with the slowbro or keep up with the slowbro either way you want to say that is my Sylveon as Substitute, Calm Mind, uh, Shadow Ball, and Hyper Voice. Now the thing here is that I have Leftovers and I also have the Light Screen up, but he is now two Calm Minds ahead of me, so basically we're at neutral. Two Calm Minds is the equivalent to having the Light Screen down, basically. I, was, I went for Shadow Ball trying to get a Special Defense drop, because uh, with his ability to use Slack Off, I don't have any reliable recovery. And so I, in order to keep up with him, I really needed to substitute when he was setting up Calm Minds. That way I could set up my own Calm Mind as he broke the substitute. And we can continue the cycle. Unfortunately, I just missed out on that KO on that last Hyper Voice. And that means that with less than half of my HP left, I really need to go ahead and Calm Mind up as the light screen is going to go down. Um, and then that means that he is two Calm Minds ahead of me when the, calm, when the light screen goes away. So I won't be able to take hits as well now that the light screen went down. And that's why I kept Calm Mining so much in those terms. I was hoping to be able to take one Psy Shock uh, and then hit him back. But unfortunately, the Psy Shock is going to be able to take down my Sylveon. And that wasn't too fruitful of a, a stall war right there because I lost Sylveon on the end. And now I really don't have anything for Slowbro. It's just so bulky physically and a lot of the things I had to hit it with are physical. I am able to knock it down about half HP with a Choice Bandit U-Turn. I just went on to Klefki for death uh, fodder because I needed something to go down, but I needed to hit Slowbro again, or at least force him out. Um, I really thought that Rhyperior's Megahorn would do more damage and KO it from that range, but Slowbro is just that bulky. So I am unable to KO the Slowbro, and now he's taking out three of my Pokemon. I had Rhyperior, Klefki, and Sylveon all fall to Slowbro. Fortunately though, I can just come back in and U-turn again to either force him out or KO him. He chooses to switch out into Landorus, which is fine. I'm just going to U-turn anyway, so not too bothered by the Intimidate. This does give me a great opportunity to Mega Evolve, because I can go out into my Gardevoir, trace his Intimidate to lower his attack, and then Mega Evolve while he does an attack that doesn't do as much damage, or just U-turns kind of harmlessly away. Um, I really like having access to Hyper Voice through the Auras Move Tutors. Um, previously, you would have had to get Hyper Voice from Black and White, and then transfer it up, 
and do this whole annoying rigmarole trying to get the pixelate boosted attacks. But now we just have access to Hyper Voice. Good times about. Um, he goes out in the X-Blob, not going to outspeed Mega Gardevoir, um, and the Psy Shock is easily going to take him down. And he goes out into Slowbro here, purely just to get the Regenerator boost, because he's going to switch immediately out and go back into Lanaris, which just barely lived the last Hyper Voice. So of course, now he's certainly going to get taken out. Now if I were running a modest Gardevoir, that definitely would have KO'd it. But I really like Tame Gardevoir just because of the speed it gains from the Mega Evolution. Um, so now we see Slowbro at almost full health, only missing about 20% of his health. A Hyper Voice almost KOs it from that range. I was really impressed with that damage. Um, and I'm able to very comfortably, comfortably, excuse me, live the Scald attack. Now, that means that his last, I think he has two Pokemon left at this point, Drakium and Slurpuff. Um, I didn't see a reason for God of War to take a physical attack when I have a um, Dragology to switch in on any possible stab type moves. Uh, he did throw me off a little bit with the substitute move, but that's okay because if it does come down to it, I do have Hyper Voice, which can bypass the substitute, of course, and do damage to the Pokemon behind the substitute. Uh, since I'm throwing all these sludge bombs in his direction, of course I'm not going to go for Draco Meteor. I could have gone for a Skull, but I didn't know a Skull would break his substitute. Um, and I knew I could just stay in and go for sludge bombs or Draco Meteors on Terrakion, but he does flinch me, which is unfortunate. I would have liked the guaranteed damage there, instead of having to rely on a Choice Bandit Mach Punch from Infernate, because now he can just switch out into his Slurpuff into my Mach Punch. But I decided to go for close combat because I figured he's not Scarfed, so I will probably outspeed him. And it turns out that he's going to use Quick Attack anyway, so that didn't matter. Uh, I actually was thinking at the time that he was Scarf, so I was worried about that. And I was like, well, if he is Scarf, then he's locked in on Rock Slide, so either way, we're good. But that whole thinking actually paid off. It's funny that how you used to get to playing with items, when someone doesn't have them, you may gain yourself out of a situation because you're assuming they have an item. But we, I knew going into the battle that he didn't have any items. Anyways, though. Slurpuff is going to be unable to stand up to Choice Bandit uh, close combats kind of repeatedly here. Um, and the, just the substitute set doesn't work as well without the Citrus Berry, because at this point, he would have substituted out, got a Citrus Berry boost, and he would have been faster than me, and he could have KO'd me with a substitute up or something like that. Um, but fortunately, I'm able to close out the battle with my Mega Gardevoir's Hyper Voice. Good battle overall. That really, it was a 1-0 victory, and he didn't even have any items. So I would have played that radically different, and it would have probably been a radically different outcome if he had items on his Pokemon. But I still enjoyed it, so make sure you go check out his channel. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now.